channel, uh, we continue solving the programming challenges in the book starting out with Java. We are in chapter 10, uh, programming challenge 3. And this uh, programming challenge is called retail item exceptions. Uh, so basically, we have to uh, modify an earlier uh, class that they showed in the book. And this class um, they showed in, in chapter 3 in the book. And it is a, it's a simple class. It's called a retail item. It has uh, three uh, field members, a description, a units on hand, and a price. And it will have um, getters and setters for uh, these uh, three fields. So they want us uh, to to check um, exceptions if if the user if the user uh, passes a negative number for uh, for the price, and if the user uh, for the price and for the units on hand. If the user uh, enters uh, here a negative number or or here uh, as a negative number, we have to uh, check that. Uh, we have to create two different classes that would check um, those, um, those exceptions. So we will create uh, a class called negative negative uh, price. It will extend uh, exception, and we will say negative price, and we will say super error uh, price cannot be negative. Uh, we also do the same uh, constructor, but this time we will accept an argument. We will say error of price cannot uh, be negative. And um, that would be it for this uh, uh, class. We have to create another class called a negative negative units, and we have to extend uh, the exception class and um, say negative units. Super error uh, units on hand cannot be negative. Um, we do the same uh, same constructor, but we will accept amount and we will say error uh, units on hand. cannot uh, be negative. So we created we created uh, both uh, classes the negative uh, the negative price, the negative price and a negative units. So we have to modify the retail items so that and uh, not um, we have to go to the retail item class and we have to modify the set price and set uh, um, set uh, units um, in order to catch um, a negative uh, negative input so in here set units uh, on hand we will throw throws uh, negative units and we will say if units on hand is less than zero then we will say 
throw new uh, negative units and it will basically pass the units on hand that is offending and um, that would be it for this uh, this this method. Uh, the second method is set price, so we have to throw a negative uh, price, and we will say if if a price is less than zero, then we will throw. Uh, negative price and we will uh, pass uh, price as an argument and that's that's it for uh, the retail item class we close it we go to the retail demo class here uh, it gives us an error because we have to use um, try catch um, clauses in order to catch uh, those exceptions so we'll say catch we will catch two exceptions um, in the catch um, a block we will say a negative negative units or a negative a prize e um, then we will say system out e get message all we have to do is copy this and then paste it here uh, you also have to uh, realize if you are using Java uh, 7 uh, uh, Java uh, ver version 7 or earlier I mean uh, 6 uh, uh, Java 6 or earlier if you are not using uh, Java 7 or up uh, you can't use this um, or you can't uh, catch uh, two exceptions at once so if you are using an older Java version you have to catch um, you have to catch the both exceptions using two different catch block blockers. So since I'm using um, a, a Java version that is that is higher than Java seven, I can use the OR operator here. So if either of these exceptions is caught, um, we will get the message here. So let's let's run the program and see if our program works. Error error unit is on hand negative one point zero cannot be negative. It makes sense because here we passed a negative number. How about if we pass a negative price here as well? error uh, price negative for the four cannot be negative a price cannot be negative so it, it catches uh, both of of these occasions if the unit is on hand is negative it will throw uh, a message and if the price is is negative they will show us the message so let's let's review what we have done if you go back to the retail to the retail item here all we changed is these two methods set units on hand and set a price 
and in these uh, methods we add to the exception classes that we that we created so we created a negative um, negative units class and um, we, we we threw uh, we threw the exception if there is a, a negative unit and here the set price uh, method we did the same thing for a negative price and if there is a negative price we we threw that exception here so if there is no if there is no um, exceptions to throw let's let, let's print uh, let's print the description item get description um, units um, item get units on hand and then a price item is get a price if there is no uh, errors it should give us the the data that we want as you can see uh, the data comes out just fine there's no errors here so I think we we accomplished uh, what they asked us to do in the assignment um, if you have any questions uh, please uh, uh, comment uh, under the, the video and let me know uh, if you like the, the video uh, please uh, give it a like and if you like uh, these kind of videos, please subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you for the next time.